Mark of Ronchi, Kai Hogan here reporting for the adventure. So, after quite a while now, we finally get ourselves at all after the last update. And, well, I've been preparing for a certain character for that, actually. Even though the mech is still zero, but at least the looks of it. Come on, Griforisk! <laughs> you block the view. Uh, so, uh, here it is, my character for this particular class that I've made quite a while back, actually. This is Zvezda. Uh, she is assigned to a 12 class. So, yeah, quite a try hard actually <laughs> compared to the others. And well, she is one of the three cast sisters in my account. So, yeah, it's really something. So, why don't we take a quick look on the skill tree first, shall we? So, at all, use three types of weapon, which is uh, dual blades, a uh, double saber, and a wand. And as you can see, this is the skill tree. I just pick everything that I can with one for now, just so I can easily read without having stuff black out like this. So, well, aside from the standard uh, uh, zero point zero skill point uh, skill here, we have recast save uh, at all HP restored, so you can restore HP under a certain threshold it goes from 5% up to 50% so this will really help you out and it will really help you to survive a bit longer without having to use extra stuff uh, and it doesn't and th since this class can be used as a subclass th this skill actually can be used for your subclass as well so that's an interesting build if you want to keep your character alive but you don't want to use uh, Resta or Hail I think. I mean well this is just well kinda how I think about it right now. I'm not trying to make a review because I clearly don't know much about this game. So there is overdrive to activate to activate to recover the HP slash PP of your party members and increase their maximum potent for duration. Yeah, <laughs> the potent point in acronym is a little bit <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm I prefer to, uh, anyway. And then it has just got uh, just got potent area. Uh, successful just got will restore a certain amount of potent for all party members in the area. So this will really help to. Keep in keeping those photon up, so but you have to do a perfect guard basically. And around made up, it just increase the HP recovery from uh, mono mate use, mono mate, day mate, and primate. So and increase the. HP or PP recovery effect when players in the area use recovery items. So recovery items in general it seems. And then your standard all attack bonus for atoll. Flat attack bonus if you miss your just attack. Uh, what is this? Standing massive. Prevents knockback or launches while stationary. Oh this is really helpful. Uh, there are no percentage on that but it only works when you're stationary, so I don't know how that will work, but we'll see about that. So at all, just attack bonus. It, this is the normal stuff, just attack critical. Same art spot on save. So reduce the amount of pot on consume when pot on art is used consecutively during a combo. Pot on reduction is limited to a certain rate. So on level 1, it's 10%, and on level 10, it's... Uh, 80% Wow, okay interesting this This is this class would be Helpful if you really spam those pot on art or pot on magic So interesting 
the best damage balancer, significantly reduce damage taken, reduce the amount of HP you heal from items and object other than at all skills. So, okay, what is this? Uh, re reduction 25%. Up to level 10 will be re 70% reduction. Okay, it reduced to 25% on level 1, but on level 10 it's 70%. Okay. Uh, yeah. Honestly, someone explained to me what's that all about. Tech art. Count bonus, gain a damage bonus, and reduce photon usage when you use different photon arts continuously during combo, so that's a good thing. At all weapon bonus, well, this is your standard stuff basically to add some more damage. And then there's an at all boost. Reduce the damage you take every time you get hit. Reduction rate decrease over time. So. Yeah, 15% to 75% rate right per. Second, it's twenty five percent. So, okay, the maximum rate will be seventy five percent. Okay, so now up to the specific weapon specific uh, skill on the tree here. We have at all double saber gear. Well, it's to make sure the weapon action can be used. You require the gears. Obviously, it also applies to and the other weapons. And well, unlike the hero and phantom, I think this is the only character so far that, in in terms of successor class, I mean, that require you to have more than one gear if you want to use multiple weapon because there are three gears. It's kind of like your uh, original class where each weapon has their own gear and you have to pick one at least. To make sure you can use it. And well, we have at all the boost ever gear. This is for only for main class, obviously. So double saber skip out, which skips the first half of potent art by activating it without any direction input. And yes, seems like this character is input intensive in terms of attacking. I think I mean well at least the double saber and the dual blade. Because the one is the simplest one, actually, in my opinion, so far. So, yeah, this will help. And then double saber step slot. Well, double saber is equipped using a step again during step. So you can do a double step, basically. Will allow you to slide in a fixed motion. I, I don't know that, but let's put, th put that on just so I can see. I still have reset skill 3, so don't worry about that. And then double saber quick take, quickly approach the enemy by pressing weapon action or normal attack button during a certain time frame. Uh, let's take that as well, so you can, we can see. Uh, you know what, let's just take all of this, so we can see uh, all of the action that we can do with the this weapon. Uh, I'm I'm not going to use double saber because I feel like it's the slowest one of the, all of the three weapon that it all has. So uh, yeah, so we have double blade. Dual blade, not double blade. I mean, double saber. It's that one. Dual blade is from the uh, what is it? Uh, the bouncer. So this one is from fighter, bouncer, and force. So yeah. No, it's tacker. Yeah, it's tacker. Right. Anyway, so to make sure your weapon action can be used, you can. You must activate this on your skill tree, just like the others. So we have double blade lock on chase. So while a dual blade, I keep saying it double, but it's dual. While a dual blade is equipped, normal attacks will advance you towards a lock on enemy. So this will help you to keep your attack close. So it will really help you. And then there is the dual blade. Gear hit up. Well, a dual blade is equipped. You see, a connect or full connect will boost gear gain for a certain period of time. So I'm not sure what a connect or full connect is. I kind of forgot. I I'll, I just did the tutorial, so <laughs> now I I kind of forgot what it's all about. But uh, hopefully, I can remember that <laughs> when in practice. So 
it will boost the gear gain for a certain period of time so this will really helpful because th this weapon in particular is really intensive in terms of gear use compared to the other two at least in my opinion and then we have actual one gear for the one this is the one that i'm going to use so we have one f dash is that forward dash well, one is equipped during a focus spot on art movement speed is booted for a short a short time during a combo so this will really help you keep moving because this is the most movement intensive one out of the three as far as i can tell and then we have one teleport well one is equipped hold and release the weapon action to work in a direction and attack oh this is going to, to be fun because i don't think it shows you on the tutorial and then we have all the standard stuff like hp up photon up all attack up and all defense up and yes i will reset all of this after i'm done with the video because i just want to show you uh, what it can do so right what should i do uh let's uh go to i don't know Let's just go to Tundra, since, well, we're on winter right now. Well, most, most, most part of the world is still on winter right now, so yeah, let's do that. So, like, uh, this is the double blade, no, double saber. God damn it, I kept switching those two. So, it has three hits, pretty standard, but... Yeah, as you can see, it felt really slow compared to what I've seen. Don't really like the move, uh, the attack speed on this one. At least the basic attack. Um, so for the first few stuff, let's see the first button up that I have. I forgot what it's called, but... As you can see, there is a yellow glow on that one. So, if I remember correctly, if you press weapon action, I think. No, it doesn't have to be weapon action. Yes. Time it there and you'll go forward. And it will basically help you out. I mean, it's it looks pretty cool to be honest, but it felt really slow for me. So, yeah, I mean, I, I've used too much hero recently, so, you know, it's my own problem. So... That's, I'm doing it without the keyboard press, as you can see there. It's just immediately to, to do that move. Uh, you know what, let's just go on the outside because this is too tight for showcase. Because we need some space around here. I'm like, yeah, I'm recording. Uh, if I try to press forward, for example, and then press the button out on this one, it will do that and then uh, complete it with the finisher so that's what it does it it's literally said that it if you do that without pressing input it will skip to this can it be charged i forgot no it, it doesn't charge okay so that's the first one and then we have the weapon action which is well this is kind of like your Quick parry, basically. Kind of like what you have on Fighter, I think. Where you do a spot dodge, basically. You do that, and you can do a counter with this. And I think it has an increased damage with that. If I remember correctly from the tutorial. Kind of forgot, but... This is really fun to abuse, so... And then, you, if you press the weapon action again, it continues to that attack. So, yeah. And the uh, attack that... In that was increased is the one that you use from the weapon action itself um, and then we have the third potent art which is this fairly standard uh, hang on did I do it wrongly? I think I did oh okay I mean, every single move, you can have that. 
you as long as you time it right, alright. So, and the timing is really wide actually compared to your standard just attack. So you got to keep that in mind. It took some times to do that. And then we have this. Oh, by the way, I haven't shown you the movement version of this. There we go. So it goes with a bunch of blades around, near, around you, spinning. And then you end up with that. So this one... is actually a homing attack, basically, if I remember correctly. So... Let's uh, show you to an enemy while we're at it. Just to make things a little easier to understand. So, okay, it, it doesn't home to the enemy, but it is. It launches you quite forward. And yes, I forgot to limit, open the limiter for my class right now. So yeah. I got a problem with that right now, <laughs> because I just waste a uh, 1 million ticket on that one. And then we have this. Wow, 13,000! <laughs> what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's uh, quite a lot, and it... And it damn, and... This particular uh, class, uh, gear uh, charge, is quite fast as well, so you can abuse your of an action quite easily. Okay, if you use the forward one, it, the damage is actually decreased. No, actually it's the same as long as you hit the proper target. I forgot what's the stuff here. Come on, attack. Come on, attack. Oh, ah, a bit late on that one. Okay, a bit too fast. Ow! Oh, I just realized she can use magic with this particular weapon. Okay, unlike the others. Okay, this is a bad news because I forgot to bring my mono mate here. Uh, die first. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot the rage isn't that great on the double saber. Where's the other one? Here you are. Come on, jump on me. Come on, Dougie, jump on me. Don't go down. Oh, come on. But yeah, it... And there we go. It increased the damage, I think. Kinda forgot. But yeah. So that's for... That and it used the gear for defensive, so if you have enough gear, it, it won't make you knock back. Um, yeah, let's just just mono mate here. I didn't know they it cannot use magic on this particular one. Not sure if I can use it on the other weapon, but you know what, that's okay. So let's go with the second weapon, which is the dual blade. This one is pretty interesting. And yes, as you can see, I, when I walk on, it will launch you, uh, myself forward. But if I don't, it will stay. I mean, despite the fact that you have the semi lock on that one, it won't make you go forward. But if I try to lock, it goes forward. That's part of the skill that you may need to get. Oh, there's some atomizer. Okay. And it has your standard three hits. As you can see there. And weapon action is basically your parry as well. Kind of like... Final Fantasy <laughs> stuff here. Because you have two blades flying around you. Really fancy. And if you, if I do forward with that, it will throw a blade, and I can do that up to um, okay wrong button up to three times. But I think I yeah, it requires a gear for the other two to appear. So let's uh.
Let's try to fill up the gear a little bit. So we can use it. Oh, emergency quest. Okay. I can do that later. And it has the, its own blade with the skill, so... If you can get the actual camouflage for the, the weapon class in particular, so... Yeah. So what about this right here? It has a different gear, obviously. So if I try to do this with a forward dash, so let's try this. That's the second one. Oh, I don't have enough for the third one, so it requ Oh, there's another player right here. Uh, yeah. So... You require... It will require you to do that, and the other one... Uh, will help you to... Do another attack with a great sword, basically. Yeah, it, you summon a great sword, a mix of uh, dual blade, and then it turns into a great sword. Pretty cool, actually. And like, unlike the other weapon that I'm going to use later, this is the most static one available because if you don't lock. You, you'll basically stay on your spot without moving at all. Unless you use the photon art, obviously. So does it has any different if I press forward? No, it doesn't. I mean, everything is the same. So that's the first skill. And I think if I press weapon action, it will do something. No, it doesn't. But it does help you to parry, so... And yes, you can parry well doing the photon art, so that's a nice thing. So the second skill would be this. It launches you forward. Oh, that that is some cool aesthetic actually, because it fades out to your normal weapon, if you see it properly. That launch you forward, this launch you forward as well, but it goes up first and it shoots a sword, no, two swords. Yeah, this is basically not this at, at, at this point <laughs> from Final Fantasy. <laughs> you get the idea. And yes, don't forget to use your lock on to go closer to your enemy. It will really help you. So for the last uh, potent art would be this, and a, a long range attack with followed by two swords later on, which is really useful if you want to keep your distance, obviously. And well, that's about it. Okay, since we have two full gear, let's try it again, shall we? Let's. Dash forward, weapon action, another weapon action, wait for a little bit, and then that's the last part of it. And yes, it consumes all of your bar and it actually gives you an effect. I don't know what the effect is, uh, because I didn't pay attention enough to the explanation. But yeah, it does really help you out to damage. And that last attack from the weapon action is deal quite the damage actually, so... Just that when you really need to. Okay, let's go to the third weapon, shall we? Now the third weapon is the wand. And we still can't use the magic. Okay, I think I should be panicking because I don't have enough uh, recovery item with me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I guess that's why you have a recovery skill. Uh, HP recovery skill. And this has your usual standard attack, but you can move everywhere you want, just like Ranger does. 
and it is really useful. And if you're in the air, you can keep yourself up flying as long as you want. So this is the coolest weapon that I really like and will be my main weapon for at all for a long while. And it has three bar and it increasingly it increased the gear rather quite steadily. Does it stop if I no? Okay, it stop if I don't put out my weapon. But as long as it's out, this uh, gear will will keep increasing. So just spam that attack weapon while you're moving. And dash attack, oh yeah, I forgot to show you most of that. The dash attack is actually a projectile, so that's something. Now the problem is, I don't know what kind of attack that applies to this particular class, to be honest, because it doesn't use a uh, stack attack, but you know, that's something. So yeah. Let's show you the weapon action. The weapon action is just a block. But you can charge that. Um, hang on. So you can go to your attack with that. It's like useful. But if you charge it, it blows up like that. And I can put a direction if I want to teleport towards a certain enemy. So let's try to find some enemies again around here. And this is by far one of my favorite. Oh yeah. So yeah it will teleport you towards the enemies. And this is the fastest one in terms of gear charge. So, this one is very really useful. So, in my opinion, this would be the one that fits me best. Because... I think it's... I do saw it, it keeps charging earlier, so I don't know what kind of effect that I actually did there, but... I saw it when I kept just attacking up in the air. It will charge, um, so I don't know if that's intentional or not, but yeah. But I can just fly all over the map without having trouble if I want to. So now let's show you the photon magic. I think it's a photon magic because it's, it is. So the first one is this. Uh, basically a range attack. But as you can see earlier, there is a small circle like the Phantom has on them, right? So if you press the weapon action during that, it will change the attack from what sensation like that, which is pretty simple, goes to like this. I haven't tried this, but yeah, it's become a close range one, so it becomes more focused in a way. And then we have this right here, the standard projectile. As you can see there, it shots a lot of projectile with that. Let's see what happens if we try to use the weapon action with that. Okay, some explosion there. Let's find some more enemies on the next area, shall we? I love the wing on the Solaris weapon here. Really fits the character <laughs> for being a tryhard. So anyway, let's see what's the difference between the normal one and the weapon action variant one for that one. Okay, we have a few enemies right here. That's shot with that. The explosion is quite big on that one, so I think it's the different of. Ah, it's a lot shorter, because if I, I can use this from far, no, 
But, well. Ooh, that's, that's a lot of damage. Let's try it on you. Yeah, it's it does a huge area, but the damage is not focused like this one, but right here. Oh, I missed that. There we go. If if I do that, it will only hit one enemy, but it does all the damage to it immediately in calculation. So uh, perfect for bossing, but this one is for mobbing. Would be really useful as well because it spreads the damage to a huge area so it, it has quite the huge area honestly so let's that's the second skill uh the third skill would be this one this this is the one that they show you first because it has the most different when you do the weapon action or not as you can see it has a huge uh le with that one but if i try to use the weapon action It only stays on the smaller area like this, but it lasts really long. So if your enemy is stunned, for example, or just down, that will be really helpful. But if there's a lot of enemy, just immediately do that. And you have a lot of area to play with to keep them busy, basically. But you have only one enemy. Just do this. So it stays around there for a pretty long time. And well, for the last put on art here. Oh, who's that? Avenger? What? We can use this. And we can move. Which is really cool. <laughs> so you can just shoot them and then stop moving. And swing it all over the place. I don't know if we can change the angle, the elevation for this with the aim. Let's try that actually. No, we can't. But the angle to side to side, you can change that. But yeah, that is a really cool move but that's not without the weapon action if we use the weapon action which is have to be activated rather fast it just blows up right in in your enemy face so that's something that would be really useful actually so let's uh, finish this off real quick and yes this is going to be my main so who's yeah. Oh, it's just you. So we can use the weapon action to keep moving. Okay, I can keep moving with that one. And I think if I try to evade, uh, it will give me something, some more bonus with the skill trick. <laughs> I died. I have half doll, so yeah, why the hell not? I need to use my <laughs> monomite real quick here. Ow! Oh, that's a stun. Uh, yeah, just keep your mobility up. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. It's not even five percent right now. So. How small is five percent? Actually, I wonder. Let's just use this. And I did again. Oh well. <laughs> that was something. I mean, I haven't put any stuff here properly, so give me a moment. But you get the idea. It's uh, a very flexible class, in my opinion, but you don't have magic. Unlike the other two class, which actually has. So, 
That's really something because I cannot use my magic at all. Because I thought it it would have magic, but no, <laughs> apparently not. Oh, also, I haven't used the overdrive, so max potent will be up 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 to fifty. Okay, uh, let's just put on this. So this is something. So it's less power than the others. All right. So yeah. Anyway, it is pretty simple, that's for sure. That's just as bad. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he's here. That's not a good news. Yeah, I should have maxed out those health recovery stuff. Also. Okay, let me heal. But yeah. Oh no! Ah, oh, you know what? I'll just stop it right here because this character isn't. Definitely, definitely it's a great part for this. I haven't even put on an armor as you can see there. I mean, there is one armor, but it's only the single thing that uh, helps her survive, but... <sighs> yeah, definitely need some more armor. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to do something about this later because right now it's still half did I just use a uh, oh no I just yeah I accidentally pressed number three but yeah you get the idea so yeah I need to work on this more because she is not prepared for this at all. Especially I need a new armor. Oh wow, you jump really far there. But yeah, that's all for my first impression, which is really sucks because I have to. It had to be ruined by this guy. <laughs> oh, it's that? Okay, finally managed to kill that one. But <laughs> yeah, definitely not prepared for this. Uh, kind of encounter yet because it doesn't I, I haven't put, put on armor on this so yeah and uh, by the way I haven't touched on the offer drive there so actually let's go to the boss section and try to survive because I'm pretty sure she'll die really fast with the current state of it which is pretty bad right now oh boy Definitely not prepared, but in my opinion, the one is the easiest one to use because you can keep moving. So yeah, let's try it. 
And if I fail, I'll end the video there. So, anyway. I just spam the shot attack. And I can adjust the elevation with this. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, a little too high there. And the thing is, seems like this character is built more for support it seems because it doesn't affect me at all. Okay, that's the first one. Let's uh, uh, turn it down a little bit. I should use my guard more often, that's for sure. Oh no! Oh, that was close. That is really useful actually with the focus attack. Okay, that hits. But yeah, you get the idea. The class is really flexible too for me, and you can just go up with the first skill, like so. So you can go as high as possible, and then stay up here if you want. And I can go even further to the air. <laughs> Oh, this is game breaking. <laughs> can I go there? No, there isn't hit some hitbox here. And I can go down with this. Yeah, you're basically using an aircraft at this point. <laughs> uh, this this character is so silly. And I'm out of in front of his space. Great. Why do I pick red meat? I hit those. Oh no. But you get the idea, so yeah, that's it for quick impression, sort of. From Atoal, which means stars by the way. And yeah. The wall is definitely my main, so I'm going to reset this after this. 